beautiful Himalayan hills in northern India are a visitor's delight. The vast region from Kashmir to Uttarakhand is also known for its crops of a variety of fine apples which are in demand in India and abroad. However, a large number of apple growers here, like most farmers in India, are poor despite their produce commanding a premium in the market. It is in this rural area of Uttarakhand that a success story of economic development of farmers is silently being written. The project, an initiative of Sri Jagdamba Society SJS, an NGO founded by Sri L.P. Semwal, is aimed at organizing the farmers into legal bodies and involving them into commercial processing and marketing of their produce. Although India is rapidly developing in a market-driven economy, in rural areas such transition has been lacking or progressively painfully slow. Marginalized and small farmers in particular are unable to escape the powerful grip and dependence on middlemen, informal lenders and other intermediaries. Although there have been several attempts to assist farmers in escaping from their poverty trap, the results have been disappointing. Loan and grant schemes do not have the desired effect as they do not tackle the core problems of dependence of the farmers on middlemen which brought them in poverty in the first place. As a result, most loan and grant schemes are in effect only patching solution rather than a structural solution. With the support from private investors originating from successful business families, a new approach for advancement of small and marginal farmers is now being tested in India and in some other countries. Similar to the self-help groups and cooperatives, the aim is to set up healthy business in handling, processing and trading farmers' commodities on a commercial basis. The main difference of the new approach is that the farmers gradually gain economic ownership along with social conscious corporate partners and become equal business partners of the investor. The farmers will only gain full economic ownership once the investment is repaid fully. No paternalistic form of aid but a sound economic partnership between an investor and a farmer-owned company supported by experienced entrepreneurs. Along with a corporate business partner, the farmers set up a joint venture in the form of a private limited company based on a solid feasibility and business plan. This joint venture enters into a loan agreement with social investors and becomes responsible for setting up and running the business in a commercially responsible manner. The socially conscious investor in this case is SGHW, a family foundation from Netherlands whose aim is to contribute to economic development in rural areas in developing countries by bringing good marketing opportunities for them. I'm a program manager of a foundation called Sichting het Groene Woud. It's a private foundation based in the Netherlands. And what we aim to do is to improve the livelihoods of poor people in a number of selected countries by stimulating economic development in rural areas. Like for instance, we have program activities in Tanzania, in Kenya, Indonesia and in India. In India, we would like to have the farmers a better price for their apples, at the same time have a better quality of apples and give them access to the market so that they are less dependent on middlemen and that they get a better price for them. But our aim is that eventually the farms become co-shareholder, co-owner of the company. At the moment there are not that many investors in India who share that objective, 
So one of our objectives is also to stimulate and to promote the idea of social entrepreneurship so that there are more people like our foundation that are interested in improving the lives of the farmers. We see that here in the Himalayan uh, the farmers, the marginal and the small farmers have very little income and that's the main reason that we came here to invest in this beautiful project and to help them to improve their livelihood and that's also our aim as the foundation to help these people to help them to increase their lives to increase their income and to help them for a better future the joint venture is to generate sufficient profits to meet its loan obligations capitalize the company pay premium prices to the farmers who supplied produce and invest in new profitable business ventures allowing the farmers to move further up the value addition chain. As a result, the farmers benefit in the form of good and assured prices for their commodities and possibly additional premium or divided payments if sufficient profit is realized. In such partnership, the social investor the socially conscious entrepreneurs and the farmers become mutual dependent business partners. Whereas the financial risk is to remain largely with the social investor. In this situation, the farmers have great interest in making the business a success for their own future and their village or region. The main beneficiaries of the project, that is the small and marginal farmers, have been grouped in well-functioning farmer trusts. A trust is created in a certain reasonable size of area depending on the number of farmers and the average apple production in their area. Each farmer trust makes one functional collection point for the primary processing of apples. Upon harvest, the farmers sell part or all of the yield to the collection point against a transparent price, for which a commonly agreed formula has been determined. The apples are brought by the primary producing company which is a joint company of FFT India and the Farmer Trust Concern. This company is engaged in collection, procurement, sorting, grading, packing, pre-cooling and reselling of the apples. First time in India they have set up this type of the collection center, refrigerated vans and the sorting grading, pre-cooling as well as the control atmospheric storage for the apple and other fruits and vegetables which is directly benefited goes to this our small and marginal farm of Naugaon Uttaranchal. FFT India which is the corporate business partner providing technology and engineering support in this case is the wholly owned subsidiary of FFT Fresh Food Technologies a Dutch company specializing in long-term storage solutions at the moment we are very satisfied that we achieved to bring here in India modern technology in the farmer area after a long way. After the study we started seven years ago, we achieved to bring a good group of farmers together with a huge crop, with help of good investors and a good feasibility study. We achieved here that the farmers now can show the market that the India apple is a, can be a good marketing apple in compare with the rest of the other apples in the world. Some of the farmer trusts and their corresponding joint companies set up under the project are in the villages of Suri, Dhari, Tuni, and Purola. Secondary Processing More economic ventures have been envisaged for further value addition.
a long-term storage facility for fruits has been set up and recently inaugurated. The setup is similar with a farmer trust and a joint company. Here the plugged apples that are brought by farmers are washed. Dried. Segregated according to size. Color and quality in an automatic plant. They are then packed in cases and transferred to the storage rooms. This facility really gives the farmers competitive advantage as their apples will now be stored under controlled environment to keep them as fresh for a long time. They will be released according to market demand even in off-season, fetching them good price. The company has good logistic facilities like refrigerated truck, etc. suitable for the area and is run by technical as well as marketing professionals. The environment of these rooms is controlled by a high-tech plant, which keeps the temperature at a target level at all times. At the same time, the oxygen of the air in these rooms is removed and replaced by nitrogen gas. After we fill the cold room completely with the apples, we would start the process of the pull down of removing of the oxygen. Then we change the target value to 1.2% or 1.5% of oxygen. So that the decaying of the apples is completely ruled out and they are kept fresh as ever till the time they are removed. This way the farmers get the advantage of economy of sale and benefit in terms of getting much better valuation from the market and becoming free from the troubles of transporting their produce to the market and having to deal with big traders who would give them very low prices. The trusts are totally of farmers and represents all member farmers. The processing companies are jointly owned by FFT India and the corresponding trusts with equal shares. With more and more profits being plot back in future, farmers' share will reach 90% and that of FFTI will come down to 10%. In terms of operations, the farmer trusts and joint companies are taking care of all the business activities which are undertaken under the project, supported by SJS wherever needed. The SJS has minor representation in the trusts as well as on the boards of the venture companies. Another value addition venture to be started shortly is that for making juice jam and pickles from C-grade apples. This venture has been envisioned as the venture for women only so that they too can enhance their skills and utilize their time fruitfully. The farmer trusts formed under the project have gone through three business cycles in 2008, 2009 and 2010 seasons and are showing promising results. More and more farmers are participating and a few trusts like Dhari Kapnol are really doing well, having benefited substantially from this new approach. It is our hope that this project would empower apple growing small farmers in India and to increase their economic level substantially by providing them opportunities of creating formal farmer organizations that will jointly handle and 
sell their apples, providing these farmer organizations with appropriate financial and technical needs and equipment to allow them to collect, sort, pack, pre cool and handle the apples in a professional manner which allows them to directly market their premium produce to main markets, trading companies or retailers. Generating profit through the legally registered entities of the farmers for premium distribution and repayment of investment to transfer ownership of the companies in due course of time. The aim ultimately is to set into motion a self-perpetuating model that can be applied throughout India for the benefit of small-scale farmers.